When an Air France Concorde went down outside Paris a decade ago, the crash killed 113 people and shocked the world. Now a French court has ruled Continental Airlines and one of its mechanics were responsible, convicting them of manslaughter and slapping the carrier with a hefty fine. Issuing its decision with lawyers representing multiple parties in attendance, the court ordered Continental to pay around 200,000 euros, plus a million euros, to Air France for damaging its reputation. Three French officials were acquitted. The court confirmed the theory that runway debris dropped from a Continental DC-10 dashed Concorde's tire on takeoff, propelling bits of rubber into the fuel tank and sparking a fire. Air France attorney Fernand Garneau applauded the ruling. I am not used to chasing ambulances. Consequently, I will not stress the fact that it was obvious from the beginning that Continental was responsible for the accident and the death of Concorde's passengers and crew. But Francois Escalatine, lawyer for mechanic John Taylor back in Houston, called it a shocking decision. Nobody knew what could happen with a tire explosion except one person in the world, which is a mechanic in a warehouse in Houston, Mr. John Taylor. This is uh, absurd. And Olivier Metzner, who represented Continental Airlines in court, said his client is carrying on with the case. We will appeal this decision that is a protectionist decision for France that does not respect law or aeronautical security. Everybody knew Concorde could not fly. It was not flight worthy. And nevertheless, all the authorities have allowed it to fly. A lawyer who's represented families of some of the German victims also expressed skepticism about the Concorde decision. Karen Sloan, The Associated Press.